So, you want to learn Django? Uh, me too. Uh, I started getting into Django about a year ago now. Uh, I've been playing blues and classic rock and things like that for uh, years now. But I decided I wanted to do something more, get into jazz. And uh, so I remember that you know, when I was in high school, I had a, uh, a guitar teacher that was really getting into Django. And um, so I uh, eventually ended up looking him up and, and, and finding him a couple months back. Uh, I tried learning this stuff on my own. I have to tell you, it's, it's pretty hard to get foothold into this stuff. Um, I mean, there's a lot of books, and people say conflicting things, but people focus on some things that, to me, don't necessarily represent the music, kind of, you know, harping on the details. So I figured that um, I would make almost like a video journal, kind of chronicling my learning of this music, and to talk about some stuff that I really wish people had talked about and let me know about when I first started. Um, makes things faster and easier. Um, so I looked up this guitar guitar teacher. Um, his name is Charles Williams. If, you, uh, if you're in the Atlanta area, uh, he's the guy you want to be talking to if you want to learn Django. Um, really is at this point a, a high priest in the Church of Django, um, and he knows his stuff. Um, so I started taking lessons from him, and I've really made you know huge improvements. So I figured it'd be fun to go over some stuff um, and kind of help people get a foothold into this style of music. I mean, so Django Reinhardt, you know, was a, uh, a, a he was born in France, and gypsies really don't care too much about nationality, but French gypsy um, played like musette music, you know, with accordions and um, bagpipes and such in, in Paris, and then uh, jazz hit in World War One, um, and so. He essentially tried to replicate what he was hearing from people like Louis Armstrong all on the guitar and uh, eventually formed with some other people you know, the, the Quintet of the Hot Club of, of, uh, of France, which was a kind of a, a club, jazz club in, in France, organized by some people. Anyways, um, so Django kind of started this whole thing. Um, I think people call it Gypsy Jazz or Minouche Jazz. Um, and so if you want to learn the style of music, you learn Django. It's, it's as simple as that. Uh, there's modern players that are absolutely fantastic. Uh, Barilla Lagrange is arguably probably the best guitarist in the world. I know, you know, it's all, it's a completely opinion thing, but watch some videos and you'll think he's up there at least. Um, so to learn this stuff, uh, you're going to have to make some decisions. Basically, um, do you just want to learn the music? and have fun with it, or do you want to just replicate Django, um, which is a much taller order. Um, so, uh, the basics. Uh, first, you're going to need a guitar, right, obviously. Uh, you don't need one of these. Uh, this is a Jeton, uh, it's a Lula Reinhardt version, but uh, it's a replica of a Selmer McAfee guitar. Uh, back in the day, uh, um, this Italian, Mario McFerry, he had some ideas for guitar, and he uh, um, contacted the Selmer Guitar Company in order to help him make them. And if it, originally he made a guitar look like this, but it had the big D-holes, the grand bouche, and it had a resonator in it, which rattled, people hated it. So they took the resonator out, and it did well. Then he had a, you know, McFerry had a fight with the company, and kind of left, and they ended up making this petite bouche. Um, and the reason that you see all the gypsies playing these things is because Django had it, one and two, because uh, in the same reason Django had it is because it's freaking loud, right? And they have a good punch. They can cut through things because remember Django was playing with, you know, accordions and violins and eventually, uh, you know, horn sections and things. So the, the guitar needs some, some kick to it. Um, so that's step one. But you can use any guitar, really. I mean, this is not this kind of stuff you use. Well, you don't need to fork over a grand to get into this kind of music. Um, the second thing, this is what you probably should do this, is just get yourself a really thick pick, because that's what they use, and that gives it a punch, and you'll get a lot more authentic sound out of it, and it'll help with some of the, the faster playing, especially, you know, the, the tremolo stuff, 
with the, with the chords. Because um, if you have a thin pick, you'll just eat through that thing. Um, next, you got to pick, uh, make a decision about uh, picking. Uh, the gypsies pick differently. Um, they have the whole thing you probably see on the internet. Take your hand, let it go limp, and you got this whole kind of shaking in your keys or shaking a match out kind of motion. And that's, you know, that's how they play. And, uh, which is, is pretty comfortable. Uh, but when it comes to picking, and most, you know, Americans, most modern guitars, they have either like the rest their, hand, their, their wrist on the soundboard or they, or they have a pinky down here on the, um, on the, on the face of the guitar to kind of give a reference point. The Gypsy didn't do that. They, they used the same thing. Um, so it really gives like a, a louder, more resonant sound, and it really helps, you know, obviously um, cut through the back of instruments or the lead instruments. Um, and there's some great books on that. Also, you know, whenever they down, they switch strings downwards, they always do a downstroke, which is kind of a conflict of the up, down, up, down, always religious kind of thing we got going here. Um, if you really are interested in mimicking that, if you feel like that's part of the, you know, the whole vibe that you want to get with this music, that uh, then there's some great books on it. There's Gypsy Picking. Um, personally, I think it, you know I, I want to play the music. I want to get into the music. At some point, I'll, I'll revisit that and maybe learn relearn how to pick. But for now, I just want to I want to enjoy the music and uh, get up to speed on that. <laughs>